Electricity. Take charge of your safety. Electricity has been in our homes for over 100 years, so it's something we don't usually think about until the power goes out. Electricity runs through the lines that attach to our homes and down through the wiring behind the walls. It runs our TVs, charges our phones, and makes a mean bag of popcorn if you have a microwave. But there's a lot about electrical safety that we all need to know. Did you know your body is made up of 60% water, which makes you an excellent conductor of electricity? That's why you want to stay out of direct contact with it. Knowing how to use electricity safely can keep you from getting shocked, or worse. So here are some very important safety tips that everyone should know. You may not remember, but you've probably been hearing this since you first started walking. Don't stick anything into an outlet except a plug. There are two-prong and three-prong plugs. Never make a three-prong into a two-prong. That third prong is a safety feature called a ground prong. It keeps you from getting shocked if the appliance malfunctions. If you and your science buddies decide to search for dinosaur bones or arrowheads in the yard, you could be digging somewhere where there are underground utilities. Ask an adult to contact DigSafe to be sure that there is nothing that lies below. If you must, must, must use your phone while taking a bath because you're killing it at your favorite video game or texting with your bestie, make 100% sure it is not plugged in and charging. If it is plugged in and falls in the water, it could kill you. An unplugged cell phone by itself will not shock you if it takes the accidental plunge. But if it's not waterproof, it may cause you pain later when you have to tell your parents. Ah! If your waffle's hiding at the bottom of the toaster, ask an adult to help you. If you have no choice but to get it out yourself, unplug the toaster first. Use a lightweight or plastic utensil if possible to gently pull it out. You don't want to damage the toaster. Or once it's cooled, just flip it upside down and give it a jiggle. Sure, it'll make a mess, but at least it's safe. And you'll get bonus points when mom or dad see you cleaning up after yourself. Got a new drone for your birthday? Awesome! Now make sure you do not fly it anywhere near the power lines. If you're not a flight master yet, be sure to practice in wide open area like a field or a park. If you accidentally fly into the power lines, you could knock out the power to your house or your street or maybe even your neighborhood. Angry neighbors and a lost drone do not make for a good day. If you ever see a down power line, or even one that seems to be hanging unusually low, stay at least 30 feet away from it. This is about the length of a regular school bus. Tell an adult and make sure one of you calls 911 right away. Electric current can travel through the ground, so keeping your distance is really important. If the line is closer to you than 30 feet because you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, shuffle step with your feet very close together to inch your way away from the line or bunny hop with both feet together until you are a safe distance. You want to keep both feet in the same voltage zone to avoid shock. Fires can start if outlets and appliances aren't used properly. A space heater too close to a curtain or furniture can cause a fire. Overloaded cords or overloaded outlets can melt. Use a surge protector power strip. They automatically shut off if there is too much draw or if there's a power surge. It protects what's plugged into the outlet as well as protecting you. Never play near or enter an electric substation or open a ground level transformer. These electric utility devices are locked so only specially trained workers can operate them. If you see something that just doesn't look right or sound right, be sure to let a parent know and they can contact the utility company. If somebody gets zapped, don't touch them. You could get shocked too. If they are shocked by an appliance, get an adult to unplug it or turn the power off at the breaker, which is usually in the basement. There are a lot of things to remember about electrical safety, but if you keep following the rules, they will just become good habits. Good habits that can save your life or someone else's.